Quebec's decision to end free COVID-19 test kits in pharmacies for most Quebecers will affect their access to testing and their ability to detect infections early in several ways. Here are some of the main impacts of this decision. Most Quebecers will have to pay $20 per test if they want to get a rapid test in a pharmacy. This could discourage some people from getting tested, especially those who have low income or no symptoms. Only people who are considered vulnerable to complications from COVID-19, such as immunosuppressed adults, people over 60, pregnant people and adults living with chronic illness, will still have free access to rapid tests in pharmacies. They will also need to show proof of their eligibility, such as a prescription or a health card. People who are not eligible for free tests but who live with someone who is at high risk of COVID-19 complications will also have to pay for their tests. This could increase the risk of transmission within households if they don't get tested regularly or isolate when sick. The end of free tests for most Quebecers could also affect the province's ability to monitor the spread of the virus and its variants. Rapid tests can provide quick results and help identify positive cases that might otherwise go undetected by PCR tests, which take longer to process and require a laboratory. The distribution of free rapid test kits will continue in schools and early childhood centers, where they are used as a screening tool for staff and students. However, some experts have questioned the effectiveness and reliability of these tests, especially when used by untrained people or without proper follow-up. How Quebec's decision to end free COVID-19 test kits in pharmacies for most Quebecers will affect their holiday plans and gatherings with family and friends As you may have heard, Quebec has decided to stop distributing free COVID-19 rapid test kits in pharmacies for most Quebecers starting from May 15. This means that only people who are at high risk of health complications or who benefit from free medication under the public drug insurance plan will still be able to get these tests for free. Everyone else will have to pay $20 per test if they want to buy them in pharmacies. This decision has raised some concerns and questions among Quebecers who are planning to travel or celebrate the holidays with their loved ones. How will this affect their ability to screen themselves and prevent the spread of the virus? Will they have to spend more money on testing or rely on other methods? What are the alternatives and recommendations from the health authorities? In this video, we will try to answer these questions and provide you with some useful information and tips on how to stay safe and enjoy your holidays without breaking the bank or putting yourself and others at risk. First of all, let's understand why Quebec made this decision. According to the Ministry of Health and Social Services, the main reason is that the demand for rapid tests has been very low among the general public. Most people are not seeking out these tests unless a pharmacist recommends them. The ministry also said that rapid tests are not as reliable as PCR tests, which are still available for free at designated testing sites. Rapid tests can give false negatives or positives, especially if they are not used correctly or within a certain time frame. The ministry also said that rapid tests are not a substitute for other preventive measures, such as isolating when sick, wearing a mask, washing hands, and keeping a physical distance. These measures are still essential to protect yourself and others from COVID-19, especially with the emergence of new variants that are more contagious and dangerous. So, what does this mean for your holiday plans and gatherings? Well, it depends on your situation and preferences. If you are traveling within Quebec or Canada, you may not need to get tested at all, unless you have symptoms or you are in contact with someone who has COVID-19. However, if you are traveling outside of Canada, you will need to follow the federal travel requirements, which include getting a PCR test before departure and after arrival, as well as quarantining for 14 days upon return. If you are staying in Quebec and planning to visit your family or friends, you may want to consider getting tested before and after your gatherings, especially if you or your hosts are at high risk of complications or live in areas with high transmission rates. You can either buy rapid tests in pharmacies for $20 each or get PCR tests for free at testing sites. You can also use the self-assessment tool on the Quebec government website to determine if you need to get tested or not. However, 
getting tested is not enough to ensure your safety and that of your loved ones. You also need to follow the public health guidelines on social gatherings, which may vary depending on the alert level in your region. As of May 15, most regions in Quebec are in orange or yellow zones, which means that indoor gatherings are limited to two households or 10 people maximum. Outdoor gatherings are allowed up to 12 people or three households maximum. You also need to wear a mask and keep a two meter distance when possible. Of course, these rules may change depending on the evolution of the pandemic situation in Quebec. That's why it's important to stay informed and check the latest updates from the government before making any plans. You can also consult the COVID-19 map on the government website to see the alert level and restrictions in your region. In conclusion, Quebec's decision to end free COVID-19 test kits in pharmacies for most Quebecers may have some impact on your holiday plans and gatherings with family and friends. However, it doesn't mean that you can't enjoy your holidays safely and responsibly. You just need to be aware of the risks and benefits of testing, follow the public health guidelines, and use common sense and caution when traveling or socializing. We hope this video has been helpful and informative for you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and happy holidays. Quebec's decision to end free COVID-19 test kits in pharmacies for most Quebecers will affect their finances and health insurance coverage in several ways. Here are some of the main impacts. Most Quebecers will have to pay $20 per test if they want to get a rapid COVID-19 test in a pharmacy. This could add up to a significant cost for people who need frequent testing for work, travel, or personal reasons. People who are at high risk of health complications from COVID-19, such as immunosuppressed adults, people aged 60 and over, pregnant women, and adults living with a chronic illness, will still be able to get free tests in pharmacies. However, they may face longer wait times or limited availability due to high demand. People who benefit from free medication under the Public Prescription Drug Insurance Plan will also be eligible for free tests in pharmacies. This includes low-income individuals, seniors, and people receiving social assistance. However, they may need to provide proof of their eligibility to the pharmacists. People who do not have access to free tests in pharmacies can still get tested for free at designated public testing sites or through their healthcare providers. However, these options may be less convenient, accessible, or timely than getting a rapid test in a pharmacy. The end of free distribution of rapid tests in pharmacies may also affect the health insurance coverage of some Quebecers. Some private insurers may cover the cost of rapid tests for their clients, while others may not. Some employers may also reimburse their employees for rapid tests, while others may not. Quebecers should check with their insurers and employers before buying rapid tests in pharmacies. The Quebec government says that the distribution of rapid tests in pharmacies was meant to be a temporary measure to help curb the spread of COVID-19 during the winter wave. The government argues that rapid tests are less effective than PCR tests and that vaccination is the best way to protect against COVID-19. However, some critics say that ending free tests in pharmacies will reduce access to testing and discourage people from getting tested. 